Animated movies are such a great watch because not only do you get to watch a great story, but also appreciate all the work that goes into making them. One example is Pixar's Elemental, which is their first romantic comedy. Welcome to Galore Tax. Elemental movie is all about different elements and how they live together in a city. Walt Disney Pictures debuted this movie last year and today we're going to explore how it was made and what technology the creative teams used to create such a stunning cinema masterpiece. Elemental is a 2023 animated film directed by Peter Son, known for his work on The Good Dinosaur. Set in a world where the elements, fire, water, air, and earth are personified, the story centers on Ember, a fiery young woman, and Wade, a go-with-the-flow water guy. Their unlikely friendship challenges their deeply ingrained beliefs and reveals how much they have in common. The movie had a decent budget of around $200 million. It did fairly well at the box office, grossing over $496 million worldwide, despite a slower start. The movie's stunning visuals and unique storyline garnered it some critical acclaim, though it didn't dominate the awards scene. It did, however, receive a nomination for Best Animated Feature at the Golden Globe Awards. Creating Elemental was one of Pixar's most technically challenging endeavors, requiring innovative approaches to animation and their storytelling. The characters in Elemental were not just animated with traditional methods. Pixar's team had to merge character animation with effects animation in a way that was entirely new to the studio. For example, Ember, the fiery protagonist, required a blend of dynamic flames and traditional animation to make her movements feel organic. Her design involved creating a fire that wasn't just an effect, but an intrinsic part of her character's emotional expression. Similarly, Wade, the water character, was animated with a fluidity that had to remain consistent with his watery nature while still allowing for human-like expressiveness. Animating these characters required a significant upgrade in Pixar's rendering technology. To put this into perspective, the rendering power used for Toy Story involved about 300 computers, while Elemental required over 150,000. This massive increase was necessary to handle the intricate details and dynamic movements of characters made of elements. Creating and animating Ember in Pixar's Elemental was a groundbreaking process that combined cutting-edge tech with artistic innovation. The challenge was to make Ember feel like she was truly made of fire, not just a character engulfed in flames. The team used a technique called volumetric neural style transfer to shape her flames into more stylized and appealing forms, avoiding overly realistic fire that could distract from her character's emotional expressions. Now to ensure Ember moved like fire, they designed her without a strict skeletal structure, allowing her to stretch and change shape naturally. This fluidity was key to conveying her fiery personality, where her flames would change in intensity and shape depending on her mood. For instance, when Ember is calm, her flames are gentle, but when she's angry, her flames grow larger and more vibrant. Animators had to rethink traditional animation techniques, as Ember's lack of a physical body meant she required continuous subtle motion, known as Keep Alive, to prevent her from appearing static. Wade's character was even more challenging, as he wasn't just drenched in water, but made of the element itself. The team at Pixar used advanced water simulations, ensuring Wade's body behaved like a living, flowing entity. His translucent form was designed to act as a lens, with light playing through his liquid body to highlight his emotions. Wade's design emphasized fluidity and weight, with animators ensuring his watery nature felt grounded. They amplified the Fresnel effect, which made his edges appear more prominent, enhancing his expressions. Now, unlike Ember, who could change shape easily, Wade's form retained its mass and volume, making him feel substantial and connected to his environment. Wade also changes colors throughout the movie. His water-based form allows him to take on different colors depending on the lighting and surroundings. For instance, when Wade is in a calm, serene environment, his colors appear softer and more transparent. However, in scenes with stronger light or more vibrant surroundings, his body reflects and refracts those colors, resulting in a more vivid appearance. Viewers might not notice this detail initially, but with continued rewatches, you really get to appreciate just how complex Wade's character design really is. And because the water people were the hardest to animate, the production team behind Elemental studied water balloons to achieve the desired effect for Wade's character. Water balloons offered a close facsimile of how water behaves in a contained, flexible form, which was essential for animating Wade's fluid movement and his interactions. By observing how water sloshed and shifted within the balloon, the animators could replicate these dynamics digitally. The study helped them understand the balance between maintaining a defined shape while still allowing for fluid organic movement, ensuring that Wade's water-based form felt both realistic 
and expressive on screen. Lighting played a crucial role in bringing the characters of Elemental to life, particularly Wade, whose water-based form required precise handling of light to achieve the desired visual effects. Pixar used the RIS, the RICS Integration Subsystem, a core part of their RenderMan software, to manage the complex lighting needs of this film. RIS is designed to handle the most demanding rendering tasks, allowing for intricate light interactions that are critical when dealing with translucent or refractive materials like water. The software was specifically used to handle the intricate lighting and shading needs, such as the way light interacts with Wade's water-based form and Ember's flames. In addition to RenderMan, Pixar also used Houdini, a powerful tool for 3D animation, modeling, and visual effects. Houdini was particularly important for simulating the fluid dynamics of water and fire, which are central to the film's elemental themes. This software allowed Pixar's artists to create realistic, yet stylized simulations that could be tightly integrated with the character animations. Another industry standard software used was Maya. It helped in character modeling, rigging, and animation. A key aspect of Pixar's elemental production involved an unprecedented amount of computing power. To understand this, it's important to first grasp what cores are. In computing, a core is a processing unit within a computer's CPU that handles instructions from programs. More cores means the ability to process more data simultaneously, which is crucial for rendering complex animations. Pixar's 1995 Toy Story, the first ever feature-length film made entirely with CGI, used just 294 cores to create its groundbreaking visuals. Even with its complex underwater scenes, 2003's Finding Nemo utilized 923 cores. But in the case of Elemental, the movie required a staggering 151,000 cores spread across three large rooms at Pixar's campus, making it the studio's largest and most resource-intensive project to date. This massive jump in core usage highlights the immense complexity and detail in Elemental especially with the unique challenges of rendering characters made of fire and water. Fun fact, did you know the ending of the movie almost included a steam baby? A unique idea that would have introduced a child born from the union of Ember and Wade. Throughout the movie, Ember and Wade worry about what will happen if they touch. Both of them are anxious that they will harm each other, but when they eventually embraced, instead of going out or completely evaporating, their hug created steam that didn't harm either of them. This concept was considered during the film's development, representing the ultimate merging of fire and water elements. The idea of a steam baby was intriguing because it would have symbolized the harmonious blending of two contrasting elements, showcasing the potential for unity despite differences. While the steam baby didn't make it into the final cut, it remains an interesting prospect for potential future films or even spin-offs. Elemental, it received mixed to positive reviews from critics. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds a rating of 74%, which is pretty good, but some reviews noted that the storyline felt somewhat familiar and predictable, with a few critics pointing out that it didn't quite reach the emotional depth of Pixar's earlier works. So tell me, did you watch Elemental? What was your favorite part of the movie? I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting Galortex videos. Thanks for watching.